under Donald Trump, you criticized the wall more mm -hmm. than 50 times. You called it stupid, oh, useless, and yes. a medieval vanity project. Mm. Is a border wall stupid? Well, let's talk about Donald Trump and that border wall. No, no, let's talk about <laughs> so you and what you said Donald about Trump it. Said Mexico would pay for it. Come on, they didn't. How yeah, much we, of that wall did he build? That. I think the last number I saw is about two percent. And then when it came for time for him to do a photo yeah, op, yeah, but what you know do you think it? of it? In the part of the wall, pause. That President, it's because of opposition from people like her that he wasn't able to accomplish that. And yeah, I I knew Mexico was never going to pay for it. I mean, everybody knew that, right? Did anybody think, okay, Mexican Mexico is going to pay for this? But I I didn't care if Mexico paid for somebody. I'm that's something I'm willing to pay for. <laughs> I want my tax-paying dollars to go to protecting the nation from an onslaught, an invasion of people who won't come here the right way. But what do you think of it, Kamala? I bet she's getting to that, right? Oh, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but you're agreeing so to a on. bill that would earmark <laughs> $650 million to continue building that we, wall. I, whoa, I whoa, pledge whoa. that I am going to bring forward that bipartisan bill. Ah. Uh, to so nothing further to do with the wall. strengthen and secure our border. So, yes, well, we I ask. am. But and I'm going to work across the aisle mm -hmm. to pass com a comprehensive bill Which means that amnesty. deals with a broken immigration system. Amnesty. I think Jackson's question, oh part gosh, of it was to acknowledge that America has always had migration, but there needs mm. to be a legal process for it. There is. People have to earn it. And that's the point that I think is the most important point that can what? be made, which is we need a president <laughs> who is grounded He's trying. in common sense and practical outcomes. Yeah, like, Answer the question, fix this thing. you buffoon. Let's just fix it. He's trying. He's not giving Why up. is there any ideological perspective on this? Let's just fix the problem. If, if, to fix the problem, you're, you're doing this compromise bill. It does call for $650 million that was earmarked under Trump. To actually still go to build the wall. I am not afraid of good ideas where they occur. You know, so you don't think it's stupid anymore? I think what he did and how he did it did, was, did not make much sense because he actually didn't do much of anything. My gosh. I just talk, talked about that wall, right? We just talked about it. He didn't actually no, you didn't. do much of anything. But you do want to build some wall. <laughs> she won't I say. want to strengthen our border. Yep. See, she will not. It doesn't wow. matter what you ask her or how many times you That's try sad. to pin her down. Woo. She won't answer the question. She goes down her talking points over and over and over. Trump, 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 Trump. That's all she'll ever say. Is that going to be adequate for half of America? Sure hope not. Boy, Anderson did his best. He did a great job he there. He did a good job. Wow. I mean, that was what, four, five four, times yeah. he tried to pin her down? That's amazing. Good for him. Yeah, jeez. Okay, so you're, it's not a stupid idea anymore. I think what Donald Trump did was stupid. I think he's stupid. I think you're stupid for asking <laughs> me. So you're good with the wall? <laughs> well, I'm good with a comprehensive plan to fix the problems we have, and Donald Trump exacerbated them. Well, you them, supported this and compromise you're making bill it worse that earmarks because you keep asking me six hundred fifty million dollars for the wall the way Donald I Trump don't did. want to answer. So you're good with it, and now. so I'm just going to continue to filibuster. What it doesn't matter how many times you ask me, I want to be unburdened by your questions. <laughs> And focus on the future. My word. It's pretty bad. She sucks. It's pretty bad. Uh, and here, here's the exchange on the economy. Oh, oh Does no. I bring a whole oh, set no. of different experiences to this job and the way I think about some, it than, some, than Joe Biden? Some voters, though, might ask, you've been in the White House for, for four years. You were vice president, not the president. But uh -huh. why wasn't any of that done ah, for the last four I love years? It. Thank you. Well, there Pause was a it for a sec. Was... More and more people are asking her that question. More and more, even these leftists are starting to say, hey, okay, if you're so brilliant and you've got such great plans, why haven't you already done this? Why yeah. are we in the situation we're in right now? Yeah, yeah, why? Yeah. She wants us to trust her as a leader uh, around the globe, uh, a worldwide international leader that sits down and gets her way with Vladimir Putin mm -hmm. and all of the dictators of the world. You mm -hmm. apparently um, haven't been able to be a leader within the White House that you're the vice president in. Yeah. I mean, God. That's right. That's right. Uh, just. Uh, so here's her answer. 
Some voters though, might answer. ask, you've been in the White House for, for four years, you were vice president, not the president, but uh-huh. why wasn't any of that done yeah. for the last four years? <laughs> well, there was a lot that was done, but there's more to do, Anderson. And, and I'm pointing out things that need to be done Good that way. haven't been done, but need to be done. What? The and I'm not going to shy away from <laughs> saying, hey, hey, these are still problems that we need to fix. You're not going to shy away from that. Now, you're not going to take any responsibility for that. She's so bad. But she won't shy away from telling you that, yeah, more needs to be done. Don't you want this person as your president? Powerful answers. Incredible plans. Uh, so well-spoken and clearly intelligent. <laughs> so after the town hall, Jake Tapper and Dana Bash had this to say about uh, what she did. Focused a lot more on Donald Trump, I think it's fair yeah. to say, than she did on uh, many specifics in terms of what she would do. Right. If her goal was to close the deal, they're not sure she did that. <laughs> oh, Ah, close she did not deal. do that. She did not close any deal. Close the deal. Wow. Because she can't. She's got no explanation for any of these issues and these problems that we face. All she has is, well, Donald Trump! She, it's, she's just trying to fear monger based on people's hatred for Donald Trump. That's not going to, I hope it's not going to work. Uh, This was David Axelrod's assessment. (laughs) The things that would concern me is when she doesn't want to answer a question, her habit is to kind of go to World Word Salad City. And she did that on a couple of answers. One was on Mm -hmm. Israel. Anderson asked a direct question. Would you be stronger on Israel than Trump? And uh, Uh there was a seven minute answer, but none of it related to the question he was asking. And so, you know, on certain questions like that, on immigration, Mm -hmm. uh, I thought she missed an opportunity because she would acknowledge no concerns about any of the administration's policies. Mm -hmm. uh, And Mm -hmm. that's a mistake. Sometimes you have to concede things. Mm -hmm. uh, And she didn't concede much, but I'll tell you something. Uh, Pause it for a sec. That is rich coming from David Axelrod. During the Obama administration, they conceded nothing. They never admitted to any mistakes in Obama's administration. I mean, I, he's right. You should. But they never did, and neither is she. All right, let him finish. Uh, and she didn't concede much. But I'll tell you something. Uh, uh, John King mentioned Bill Clinton. Mm-hmm. No one's going to be Bill Clinton. But you do want to relate to the people in front of you. She didn't do a lot of that. She didn't mm. ask them questions. She mm. didn't address Mm -hmm. them particularly. Uh, So she was giving set pieces uh, Mm -hmm. too much. Mm -hmm. Her talking points, that's all she has. And she will not deviate from them. No matter how rough it gets, no matter how many times she's asked, she will not answer the question. Because the American people won't like her answer. And she will not be elected. She's trying to hide all of her viewpoints. 